What if there was a psychedelic intake tool that could help you avoid a bad trip, could help you avoid an unnecessarily challenging psychedelic journey? What if there was a psychedelic intake tool that could help the medicine facilitator see and understand deep complexes in the, in the psychedelic journey or that might not present themselves upon the initial interactions between the facilitator and the journeyer. Understand those complexes to such an extent that they would understand the origin of the complexes, the, the evolution of the complexes, the trajectory of the complexes. What if there was a psychedelic intake tool that could help the medicine facilitator understand what medicine might be the best choice for that particular person at that particular time? Uh, it could help with scheduling the psychedelic journey during a time that is not only logistically supportive to the journey, but also emotionally supportive time for that journey. -er. What if there was a, a psychedelic integration tool that could help the journey -er understand not only what, what transpired in the journey itself, but how it ties back to the larger arcing themes and patterns of, of their whole life? What if there's a psychedelic integration tool that could help them if the journey is even outside of the psychedelic journey going through a difficult period in their life, they can understand how long that difficult period will last so that they can muster their, uh, their perseverance to get through that knowing how long it will last. What if there's a psychedelic integration tool that could help us not only understand the themes of a psychedelic journey, but actually understand the themes of, of a whole life such that the challenges of the life can be seen in a context of the larger harmony of the life and what, what the larger context of, of what strengths want to come from those challenges in such a way that they're, 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 the whole arc of their life is very affirmed. Um, what if there was a psychedelic integration tool like that? So in the in 1976, the prominent researcher in the field of psychedelic assisted healing, Dr. Stanislav Grof, along with his colleague Richard Tarnas, were looking for a tool that could actually help them anticipate the quality of the material that would come up from the subconscious in high dose psychedelic assisted healing sessions. So the tone and the quality of that material, and in such a way they could be kind of prepared. They could be like prepped and know to to an extent what to expect so that they could um, know how to support that person. They were looking for a tool and they were looking at tools in the Western psychological the thematic eye perception test, and they weren't having any luck with those tests. So uh, actually somebody suggested they check out astrology. They were hesitant at that time because they're already working so far afield in the larger field of psychology because they were in the field of research with psychedelic assisted healing. Um, though at the same time, it had become knowledge at that point that Carl Jung had used astrology with his clients in his later career. And so uh, they decided to check it out. They decided, let's check it out. And they found in, in astrology, the tool that they were looking for, not only could it help them anticipate the, the tone and quality of the material that will come up in high dose sessions, but it gave them all the, the, the characteristics of an intake tool and an integration tool that I mentioned earlier. Uh, it is uh, not only that, it gives a, a kind of, um, it, it, it provides a link in psychedelic assist in the field of psychedelic assisted healing that helps the larger field of science get over a kind of a bump um, that that the field of science has encountered by calling upon ancient wisdom and that bump is uh, science has come up with a worldview in which this we live in a, a primarily material universe and then consciousness is a byproduct of uh, the material interactions, molecular interactions in our brains. And quantum physics is kind of beginning to cast that into doubt. And it turns out through uh, the discovery of archetypal astrology and, and its use in psychedelic assisted healing uh, that the direction of human consciousness evolution is taking us in a direction towards a realization that actually the universe is primarily a phenomenon of consciousness and actually the material universe is a byproduct of that in that 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 fundamental substrate of consciousness so it provided so many things provided so many useful uh 
angles for the person, for the individual, for understanding their life, for affirming their life, for our larger culture and helping guide us towards a better understanding of what is life, what is incarnation, what is um, what is the, the material phenomenon, the phenomenon of consciousness. So this tool is best understood when encountered personally first with ourselves by understanding how it can help us as individuals. And how it helps us as individuals is it provides us with an intake tool for ourselves, with an integration tool for ourselves that's just so personally affirming. It really shows us intimately how our our our, our struggles in our life, some of which we may not have even shared with another soul, are actually um, actually have strengths that they want to impart to us that 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 they have been imparting to us and they will continue to impart to us in our psycho spiritual evolution it's so very personally affirming um and all the more so to know that it's actually the grandeur of the night sky and the positions of the celestial bodies that reflect this deeply personal uh landscape of our of our psyches and so that so we know that actually the you could call it the universe, the divine, whatever words you want to use, um, is actually uh, that we're affirmed not only personally within ourselves, but there's a deep sense of connection to um, to this experience called life. That actually life itself is giving us uh, an affirming map. Um, the universe, you could say, is giving us an affirming map to the terrain of our own subconscious. So that's when uh, the practice of archetypal astrology, as it was developed by Richard Tarnas and Stanislav Grof, becomes uh, just, it, it becomes a, a very personalized gem, a kind of a gem set in a setting that is just so personally uh, uh, created for us as individuals. And, uh, and it's so illuminating, it's so clarifying. And, uh, gives us not only a sense of ourselves but the sense of our the, the depth of our humanity that then allows us to really empathize with others um gives us a sense of of why we've taken this life why we've taken this incarnation it really puts things in a larger context of harmony that that make very much makes sense and very much uh opens up uh our heart in terms of supporting others so uh my name is james moran i'm an archetypal astrologer and I am going to be leading an integration circle this summer, summer of 2023, in which we will use archetypal astrology as the primary integration tool. Every member of the, the, the integration circle, which is known as the paradigm shift integration circle, every member will receive a two-hour one-on-one personal archetypal astrology reading with me, which is where you really set the foundation of, of opening up the map to the terrain of your psyche and, and feeling all the confirmation, the affirmation. And then together we get to on seven group calls kind of marvel um, at the uh the insights that 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 we experience together. We get to support each other. We get to look at uh planning psychedelic assisted healing, uh planning and understanding journeys together. We get to um feel uh we get to kind of celebrate uh life and and uh its ability to illuminate its fundamental principles for us so that's the paradigm shift integration circle um uh come come join it's you you, you get your one-on-one -on -one reading you get to be a part of a, a small group of supportive journeyers on this kind of adventurous journey of a lifetime in which we all support each other you also have access to a lifetime access to my fundamentals course of archetypal astrology if you would like to learn how to read charts using archetypal astrology this is not necessary to enter the course uh, by any means but you will have access to that should you want to go further in this practice so let's take a moment here and listen to a few words from previous members of the paradigm shift integration circle check it out the way i learn is through experience mostly. And so I've tried reading things and listening to things, but actually being able to see the way you work with my chart and other people's charts, it's starting to sink in more. I'm starting to really be able to look at patterns. I'm also finding that it's extending to everyone I meet, whether it's people I work with professionally or it's family, whatever, I'm more, much more curious about, okay, let's look at your chart. 
So I haven't, uh, I not, I'm not an astrologer and I don't aspire to be one, but I definitely have always known the value of using astrology, but I didn't understand um, anything about what Groff knew, you know, brought to astro, you know, psychedelics in terms of astrology, the the other, I don't even know the other gen, the other teacher that you mentioned. <laughs> I still don't know his name. Um, so that was so helpful. Um, and that whole, you know, description of the birth process and understanding that in the context of the archetype of the planets. I think that's that was really all helpful to me um, to learn that that as a resource and um, have a much more depth of knowledge. I also, um, you know, I had no idea what I didn't know. And I see, I now understand your depth, James, and what you bring to this. Um, and uh, I'm really admire, admire that your dedication and skill. Regarding the format, um, I really appreciated how you were so open hearted, like and openly ready to respond to any kind of inquiry that that people brought. Um, so whether it was like a low stakes question or a high stakes question, whether it was like, uh, you know, a, a thematic question or a very like time specific question, like I just felt like you um, responded to every curiosity and inquiry with like the same enthusiasm and in being able to then kind of witness and hear like quite a range of reflections or a range of topics that all like everyone was bringing um, and hear you reflect on them helped to create for me like a sense of uh, like just like yeah the depth and breadth of of how this is so relevant. So again, my name is James Moran. I'm an archetypal astrologer. I welcome you to the Paradigm Shift Integration Circle, summer of 2023. I'm really looking forward to, to, to meeting you and embarking on this, this adventure with you and looking forward to engaging in this circle of, of support with all of us. So thank you so much.